All right, what's going on guys? Super Saiyan Paul here, back at it once again. Today we're gonna be talking about the most overrated character in Dragon Ball Z. Now I've seen a couple videos on this and responding to what Alex put out there. All right, so you guys are asking me to put up my opinion on this and mine would be, it's not Trunks. Definitely not Trunks. Trunks is probably the most underrated character in Dragon Ball Z and it's not Broly for me either. The reason being is because for Broly, all right, so he may have been a retarded Saiyan in some cases, all right? But the fact that everyone witnessed his power and could respect that, because out of fear, he lived up to everything a Saiyan should have should have been. For Trunks, however, Trunks has had probably the most backstory that any character has ever had in Dragon Ball Z. The most fully fleshed out character, and the fact that he came from a place with no hope, and he's half Saiyan and everything, kind of gave him a relatability factor to us as the fans, because we're human, and we have our times and lives where it's like there's no hope and he kind of taught you the lesson that you need to push forward and push on keep going on don't give up and the fact of the matter is even Goku gave up in that saga at one point he even told Cell straight up hey Cell I give up so to hold that against him I, I don't really see how that's fair I mean even future Gohan said it in their timeline as well hey man I used to be a whiny kid just like you but you gotta grow out of it and I think Trunks did grow out of it. He faced his nightmares and he lived and he went back to live in that future with no hope and rebuild the entire thing as the last saying alive, basically. So Trunks isn't overrated at all. I think he's still underrated. That's just my opinion. Broly, I honestly don't think he is a bit overrated, but I don't think he's the most overrated. If they crowned him as the God of Destruction, that would change up everything because he's just raw destruction and that would live up to his character. But that's a different story. For me, the most overrated character, it has to be said because some people do agree with me on this, I would say it's Bardock. And you know why I would say it's Bardock? Because Bardock is the one that didn't do shit for the series. He actually, he was literally a stupid asshole because he looks at his son as his average power level and runs away. Uh, only an average power level. I thought you were special. And it's because of him that Frieza premeditated blowing up the entire planet. He rushed up there and then he got the entire planet blown up. He was an evil person to everyone around him. It wasn't until he got the visions that he started to realize, hey man, uh, maybe I should change it the way what we're doing here. And he witnessed his own demise. So he basically got karma coming right back at him. He was not a good guy, unless you count the movie where he went Super Saiyan. But at the same time, if you're counting back the original, he was an asshole. He didn't want to spend time with one of the strongest Saiyans alive, so he abandoned his child. Nobody even respected the guy because they're like, oh, Bardock, you're just an idiot. And then he runs up there and gets blown up to bits by Frieza because he thought he, he was overconfident, cocky, and stupid, and he caused Frieza to blow up the entire planet along with him and all of their hopes for a, a, a race. Even though Frieza said he was going to blow up the planet eventually because they were getting so strong, it was because of him as well. And there really wasn't much to respect about him because he did nothing but kill everyone and that he was the father of Goku. Now, if that's the only thing you have to your name, that you're the father of Goku and you abandoned that child and just left him there, then in my book, you're a piece of shit and you're overrated as fuck. I don't understand why people like him. And yeah, that's just my opinion on who's the most overrated character. Trunks is still probably one of the best characters in the show for me. And the reason why, again, is because not only did he face his fears, when he went back into the past, into their timeline, do you know how many things went wrong? How many things came out of nowhere? And he was like, no matter what, he couldn't escape this nightmare. But at the end, he did, even though he went to hell and back. So he never took the easy way out. He could have opted out any time, but he kept training and training and trying to find a better future. Broly, if they changed some of the things, if they actually tried, if they crowned him God of Destruction at any point, that's it. I, I think he'd become perfectly leveled. But um, the fact that he had that raw power that you could respect, and this is what Vegeta, everything Vegeta hyped up about a Saiyan, I think he honestly lived up to. Just because he was obsessed with Kakarot, that kind of made people go the, in the other direction from him. But even Vegeta was like, this is the legendary Super Saiyan. This is what killing machines are. This is, he, I think he lived up to all of that, all those things. If you compared King Vegeta and his relationship with Vegeta to Bardock and Goku, King Vegeta respected his son so much. He was basically hyping up Vegeta to say, hey, if you bleed, you're gonna bleed diamonds and gold because that's how much, how, that's how valuable your Saiyan blood is. Bardock, however, 
Nah, he was just some raggedy Saiyan with like nothing really to nothing real to his name besides the technique that lets him change into great apes, but that's it. Big whoop. Another thing I would bring up is the fact that, okay, Trunks, one of the most fully fleshed out characters in terms of backstory. I, you, I've already given you guys many reasons of why I don't think he's overrated and the fact that he can be related to us. So for that, that's how he passes. Broly, he lives up to the destruction part and all the same mythology that Vegeta brings up. Bardock, what does Bardock bring to the table other than being Goku's father? And the fact that, okay, he died in a pretty cool way, but shouldn't the credit be given to Frieza because there was the, uh, like a how many Saiyans behind him that died in the exact same fashion? Besides, if you don't count the fact that he got sent back into time and turned into a Super Saiyan, but still, it doesn't redeem him at all. All of that, his entire movie took place in the time span of over one day. So, if there was an overrated character, it clearly is in Trunks and Broly to some extent lived up to what he was brought out to be even though he didn't deserve three movies and that he could have been a mentally retarded saying at least they feared him enough to try to stab him as a child that's how much hype was around him and that's how much he lived up to it bardock did none of this the most overrated character in dragon ball z it's not goku goku lives up to it vegeta lives up to it gohan lives up to it future trunks lives up to it everyone else I would say lives up to their hype somewhat. Bardock, I don't understand. Why do people love him? Maybe when I was a kid I liked him, but now if you really think about it, if you really think about it, he was an ass. Anyway, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Take care.